Hey everybody, welcome to day 10 of the Summer of Wonder road trip through the Rockies. Lexi and I were planning to leave TP today. Oh, we have a big animal down there. Oh, it's a moose. I don't know if you can see him very well or not, but you can see there's very tall shrubbery brush down there. It's probably eight feet tall or more, and you can just see his antlers sticking out across the top. He just stays down there all day, and he was just making a racket, so I really heard him. Okay, back to my video. So Lexi and I were planning to leave TP today, but I just changed my mind. I realized I had some extra time, an extra day, and didn't feel like being rushed. So we decided to stick around one more day, and I'm so glad that we did. Lex and I are just on our way out for a little afternoon walk, but it's starting to thunder. Not really looking to get rained on. Good morning, welcome to day 10 of the Summer of Wonder road trip through the Rockies. So good morning from us and from Clarence the Moose. It's a beautiful morning in the pasture. Horses are coming in for the day, but they are pokey and not in any hurry. Let me get a little closer to the horses as they're coming in. And one of these guys is Hank, which is my friend's horse. This is how they mow the grass here, too. <laughs> Alright, there's a mouthy marmot. I can find him. There he is. He's got a lot to say this morning. Also, there's a lot of cabins here. Some of them are all in the little village together. Not really village, but centered together. Some are off on their own like this one. Since we have a little bit of a moose theme this afternoon, here's some moose rubs on some trees. Okay, so this is one of the very few, if maybe only times that I will be driving truly solo with not even a puppy in the car. I am headed off the mountain here north of Sheridan to go down to town for provisions, as they say. So a trip to Walmart, a trip to the grocery store. Okay, so hello and good evening on our last evening here at TP. A little bit of an unexpected twist to our evening and um, Lex and I came down to the lake so that she could swim and I realized as we were almost here that the horses apparently this evening are out to pasture but in TV so they are all over the place so we have to watch our step because they are very inquisitive and a couple of them are just on the other side here of us checking us out so we're gonna see horses everywhere we go tonight I think they are everywhere they're in the fields up over the ridge down in the woods Stop. Being here at TB has been just an awesome four days of relaxing and just enjoying how beautiful it is here. But I'm also reminded how excited I am to get back on the road tomorrow. This is in fact a solo road trip. However long we may stop in places, the real purpose of the trip isn't the destinations necessarily. It's all the days in between. And for the next week and a half, Lexi and I are going to be exploring new places. 
that is so exciting to me. So tomorrow we head off bright and early. We'll be showing you all the places that we go. Tomorrow we're hoping to visit Porcupine Falls, which sounds a little prickly, and do some hiking. Definitely a day out in the woods tomorrow. So make sure you catch day 11 so that you can see what it's like. I really hope that you follow us every day in our vlog. Well, I don't have any more events for a little while. There are definitely more coming. They're mostly at the back end of my trip. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Wonder Bing Travel is a small but growing and thriving business built around my book and all the things that I teach people about solo road tripping. So cheers. And here's to seeing you on the road.